Once upon a time, there was a king and a queen that lived happily in their palace without any children. One day, the queen was alone in her room near by the window. She was sewing. Suddenly, she pricked her finger and three drops of her blood fell on her linen. She knew that she wanted to have a daughter. She wanted her daughter to have lips as red as blood, her skin as white as snow, and her hair as black as the night. One day, when the daughter was born, she, they called her Snow White. Uh, they were very happy, but the happiness didn't last long, because the queen was very ill and she died. The king lived alone for a long time, so he decided to marry another woman. That woman became Snow White's stepmother. Her stepmother, the queen, had a magic mirror. She went to her mirror and asked it. Da. Mirror, mirror of the world, who is the fairest of us all? Her lips are as black as blood. Her hair is as black as night. Her skin is as white as snow. Her name is Snow White. Snow White is the fairest of you all. What? That is not true. What do you know, your mirror? Snow White is the first of you all. No way! Where is our huntsman? Here, yeah, here, your majesty. Take Snow White into the wood. Find the place when she can pick up flowers and veya. Get rid of her and bring me back only her heart. But your majesty... Sire, you know the penalty if you fail. Yes, your majesty. I hear you, my queen, and I obey. If you say please, it will make matters so much pleasant. I cannot do this. Please forgive me. I beg your pardon. I don't understand anything. She's mad. She's jealous. She will stop at nothing. But who? The queen. The queen? Yes. The queen, your stepmother, ordered me to kill you. was sharp. She turned and ran into the woods as fast as she could. It was getting dark. She ran on and on. She was scratched and scared. And suddenly she found a cottage. Yet no sound from the cottage. She knocked softly on the door. Nobody answered. The door was a little bit open, so she opened it more and entered the house. She looked around. What a cute little chair! Oh, there are seven little chairs! A stocking too! And I'm sure it must be se seven little children! What a mess! I have never seen such a messy living room! I have never seen such a messy kitchen! I have never seen such a messy bedroom! This cottage is very messy! But it is roof is over my head for tonight! Maybe if I clean up around here I can earn my sleep! Snow White cleaned up the living room and the kitchen. She went upstairs. At the second floor there were seven little beds. She yawned and lay on a bed. Soon she fell fast asleep. In the meantime, when the seven dwarfs were heading home from working in the mines, you can imagine their surprise when they saw their cottage all cleaned up. Look what has happened to our table. Oh, sorry, to our table. Flowers, food. Maybe this is not our house. What kind of magic is this? Snow White woke up. The seven dwarfs could tell that she was as surprised as they were. Soon they all relaxed and shared their stories. Snow White told all about her stepmother, that her stepmother tried to get rid of her that the huntsman let her free in the woods, that she could never go back home again. Stay here with us. That's sweet, but if I were to stay in her home, I want to have to do something for all of you. You already cleared up our place? Keeping her house clean will be easy. I will let everyone know what part they can do, and I will do my share too, of course. That's fair. There must be something else I can do for you. Do you know how to read? We have uh, these books filed with wonderful tales and 
uh, would love to be able to read them. I will gladly tell my stories to you. And so it was agreed that Snow White would give them reading lessons. To celebrate their new friendship, they sang and danced all night long. When the seven dwarfs were heading uh, to work, they uh, warned Snow White to not open the door to anyone. Snow White nodded in agreement. She prepared a good meal for the seven dwarfs when they returned home. And so the days have passed. Back at the castle, the queen asked her mirror. Mirror, mirror of the world, who is the fairest of us all? Snow White is the fairest of you all. What? That is impossible. The girl is not longer alive. Snow White is alive. She is in the cottage of seven dogs. Snow White is alive. She is the fairest in the land. Uh, this is the heart of pig you are holding in your hand. She will not get away with this. At the cottage of the dwarfs, there was a knock at the door. Who is it? It's only a poor old woman selling apples. It's raining out here, my dear. Please, let me in. Poor thing, having to go door to door selling apples in the rain. Take a look at this big red apple. She took the comb out of her hair and gave it to the old woman. The old woman gave her the apple. She took a big bite from the apple. Alas, the fruit was poisoned. She fell into the ground and fell in a deep sleep. The Greek queen was very happy. When the seven dwarfs returned, they were shocked because they didn't know what to do with Snow White. So they put her into glass coffin and watched her day and night. One day, a prince was passing by the cottage. He opened the glass coffin and even in that deep sleep, Snow White's face seemed so fresh. He uh, took one of Snow White's hands in his own and kissed it. Suddenly, Snow White opened her eyes. Love's first kiss broke the spell of the wicked queen. Now nothing stood in the way of Prince and Snow White to be together forever. They returned to the kingdom and lived happily ever after.